So what's to stop the frugal systems administrator from just continuing to run the free TrueNAS in their environment forever? We don't have a time limit on our license. We don't have a capacity limit. So you could use TrueNAS Community Edition in your organization as if you desired. What, what a lot of people go for our enterprise model for is that you're getting hardware that our engineering team has tested and built and optimized for. So not only are you getting the confidence of knowing that this is who, you know, the, the TrueNAS team designed this, they selected this hardware, it's going to run the best it possibly can. We also have advantages like our support team that's available on call for up to 24 by 7 when you purchase one of our gold support plans. You're also going to get some of the features that are only available with that tight hardware level integration, like high availability, whether we do it with a traditional dual pass to a controller, or we do a uh, more integrated thing with you know PCIe connections directly between them. That's where you get that transparent failover where you can do upgrades of a single controller and it'll transparently just move your workload over to the second one without any loss of active connections or traffic. That's obviously very popular for our virtualization customers where they say, we can't just be shutting down all of our VMs for five minutes while we apply an update, or if uh, somebody accidentally unplugs the wrong thing while they're doing maintenance. It's much better to have the strength and support of our team backing you up at all times. Um, we feel like we want to be part of a solution and not just part of your storage team. What I like hearing is the phone calls that we'll get back after we ask somebody a week or two in where we say, hey, how, how's your installation going? Uh, was everything up to your expectations? And we'll get a system administrator calling me back that says, I actually got a, I got a weekend off. I didn't have to go in to check on a storage system that had a problem. I didn't have to spend three hours a day restoring somebody's file because of the integrated snapshotting in ZFS. He says, I expose those. My users are able to just restore that file that they deleted without even interacting with me. We're enabling all of these new workflows. We're freeing up people's time and letting them get back to doing what they want to do, doing their job, the thing that benefits their company, and the thing that gives them that personal satisfaction. As somebody who's worked alongside the guys who get the phone calls about the storage server not being available and all the all the time and effort that they put into those workflows, I can I can understand that there's a, a huge value in that to the TrueDesk customers. Definitely. And we're we're trying to not just save you time, but we also want to save you money too. The ability of the open source economics of TrueNAS means that we're able to, we can put our resources back into the product much, much more effectively, which in turn lets us position it out in the market much more aggressively than some of the competition. And it's not because we're skimping on features. We just don't have the same overhead that they do. They have to protect all of their licensing, protect all of their code. We say, uh, if you want to read it, go ahead. We're up on GitHub. You want to go to github.com slash TrueNAS? That's where we operate. And we will welcome a pull request from anybody who has good code to give us. So that's where we want to return that value. Our community has contributed a lot to us. That's where we feel we turn it around and contribute it back to the community in that free edition, as well as to our enterprise community by giving them the ability to get this great feature set, this incredibly powerful storage without being a huge cost to them. That's fantastic. I, I, it's, I totally appreciate that I've benefited from this for, you know, at least 12 years now. Yeah. I, myself as well. I was a free user long before I came on board at IX and, uh, I technically still am a free user right now. Very good. Thanks so much, Chris. I appreciate the time you took today. No problem.